being able to go ahead and edit your live stream in real time while you're live inside of EVMUX is a game changer. It truly allows you to be able to make adjustments on the fly without your audience ever knowing. So let's go ahead and jump into my EVMUX account so I can show you just how easy it is to quickly edit pro scenes while you're live. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So once you're inside of your EVMUX account, you're gonna see that once you're live, you're gonna get access to a preview and program window. On the left is the preview window. That's what you're seeing. That is the, the scene where you're able to edit. And then on the right side, that is what your audience is viewing currently. So you're gonna see here that on the right side, I have me and Alad, and then on the left, I have a similar slide. Now, what this allows me to do is that I can go ahead and edit this slide here on the left. I can resize cameras. I can go ahead and add elements. I can go ahead and change the text. And then once I have those adjustments ready to go, I can go ahead and hit transition and go ahead and instantly make those adjustments in real time. Now, one of the things that I love about this is that this works well and handy whenever you have an issue or things you need to make changes to or adjustments. So let's say for example that right here I have Anthony and I have a lot as my next speakers that are coming up. But something happens to Anthony and he can't really make it and I have to make adjustments on the fly. So while I'm here on the right hand side where my show is going, I can go ahead and have a lot be by himself. Why? Because Prehand, I created a pro scene that I can utilize in my show. Now, if you use the play button, that's gonna bypass the preview window and immediately push it over directly to your viewing audience. So you can hit the play button, that's gonna go ahead and bring a lot on the screen by himself without removing my preview screen that I'm currently editing and getting ready in the meantime. So I can go ahead and switch to a video. I can say, you know what, this is actually not the video that we're gonna play. So I can come in here and replace the video all while the show is still running, I can come in here and make adjustments to scenes, but you can't only just edit scenes that you already created. You can actually come in here and make a new scene while the show is going live, allowing you to be able to go ahead and add in new layers. Let's say I want to go ahead and add in a speaker. I want to go ahead and in add in myself. So I want to go ahead and add that in there. I can go ahead and make adjustments. I can go ahead and add myself. So there's so many things that you're able to do to be able to go ahead and upgrade and level up and edit while you're live. So let's say I have that video there and I want to go ahead and add this video to the scene. I can go ahead and again, the show is still running. You can see that the broadcast is still going. Everything that's happening on the right hand side is what the viewers are seeing. And then on the left hand side are the edits that I'm making in real time. And then once I've done with those edits, I can go ahead and transition them over and now the audience can view that. So you can just take your mind, let your mind run wild on what you're able to do with this. And like I said, if you're setting up your pro scenes ahead of time, you can limit the amount of edits you need to do in real time. But if there ever is a scenario where you need to do that, you can. And again, this also works for dynamic scenes. So let's say I have that video playing. I can come to dynamic scenes and say, okay, hey, I'm gonna put me and my guest. I'm gonna put myself. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little, change, change the background. That's where I can make those adjustments. And then again, transition that over to the live viewing audience immediately once I've made the adjustments. So you can just see how powerful it is to be able to utilize EVMUX not only for your live streams, but also for your recordings. And again, if you wanna learn how to go ahead and utilize the features like auto switching or trimming to be able to create clips, go ahead and click this video right here where I walk you step-by-step step on setting that all up. I'll see you guys in the next video.